Welcome back Slackers! Today I will be showing you how to choose the best online vendor while shopping for a new product based on brand, reliable reviews, and company legitimacy. And spoiler alert, the top selling Amazon's choice product with almost 1000 positive reviews is not always a smart way to spend your money. Let's get into it. So this video is about slack lines, but you can use these tips for pretty much any product that you want to buy online. And uh, this all started when I decided to look up slack line on Amazon, and I discovered that me, the slack lining god, didn't recognize any of the brands that Amazon was recommending. That brings us to our first criteria for shopping online, which is brand, aka popularity, aka what are people actually using. When you search for slack lines on Google or Amazon, you'll find a wide variety of brands, and I'll choose three to look into further. So first is Flybold, which is the Amazon's choice for slack lines, and I'm going to compare that to two brands that I'm familiar with, which are Gibbon and Slackline Industries, to show you the differences between them. So when you go on Instagram and type in Flybold slack lines, the first thing I notice is that they don't have an Instagram account, which is already a red flag. Next thing I notice is that hashtag flybold slacklines has been used in fewer than 100 posts. Also a red flag for a product that has supposedly 971 reviews on Amazon. Now compare that to Gibbon slacklines, which has 20.7 thousand followers and 23.2 thousand posts tagged with their hashtag, or slackline industries, which has 12.2 thousand followers and 23.2 thousand posts with their hashtag, and that just goes to show that people who are actually using slack lines and are happy with the product they have enough to post it on Instagram are not using flybold slack lines and they are using uh, Gibbon or Slackline Industries. For me, that's enough to write off flybold as a company that I don't want to buy from. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt until we check out some of their reviews. Unfortunately, online reviews can be very misleading, so let's take a look at some of the reviews for Flybold and see what we can find. So the first thing I notice is that the first two top rated reviews both have great family fun in the title. So just for some fun, I decided to search for reviews that included great family fun, and now let's see what we find. So we got great family fun, great family fun. Uh, great fun for the family, family fun, great fun for the family, da, 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 fun for the whole family, next page, fun, challenging, and great family activity, family fun, great family fun, uh, fun for the whole family, great fun for family barbecues, fun for the whole family, fun for the whole family, next page, uh, great fun for the whole family, Fun outdoor activity for the whole family, great fun for the entire family. Uh, yeah, so this isn't inherently a bad thing or sketchy, but it's a little bit suspicious to me that so many reviews use this great family fun and fun for the whole family. It's sort of like a keyword that I think the company is trying to use that might get searched often. So. Just when you see repeated phrases like that in reviews over and over and over, that's a bit of a red flag that they might not be the most legitimate reviews. Alright, now let's check out some of the negative reviews. And so I tend to trust negative reviews way more than positive ones, just because, well, a company isn't going to fake negative reviews. So let's see what we got. Uh, fun, but the weight limit is way off. That sort of shows that it's not really up to standard. Uh, doesn't last long. I love this product, but it is starting to shred and a picture of a really torn up slack line that I can't even imagine mine ever looking like that through any circumstances. Uh, poor quality, missing ratchet, didn't come with the trainer line. Looks like they tend to ship stuff out a lot that uh, is missing parts that they promised. And uh, they have a few really funny reviews that I don't understand. Here, look at this one. Two or er one, okay, it's one star with the title Too Early for Review. And uh, this is a Christmas present, so how do you think it can be reviewed? Question mark. And then uh, Raul from the DDRPL seemed to be just as confused as I am. 
He said, uh, we read your one star review on the Slack line. However, we couldn't understand from the review on why you weren't satisfied. And I, I found actually a lot of those Christmas reviews saying that they couldn't review it yet. And I don't understand what that is about. I've never seen anything like this. Look, here's another one. One star. Christmas present. Tell you after Christmas. Another one star. This will be Christmas gift for my grandson, which he wanted. Beyond that, I have nothing further to offer. One star with the title, not sure. This was purchased as a Christmas present. Not sure how it will be, so therefore I cannot rate it yet. So just a lot of really strange reviews, both positive and negative for this product, which could just be people being really weird. Uh, now that there's some negative ones that are kind of don't make sense, I'm a bit more confused, but just overall these reviews are really suspect and I wouldn't really trust any of the reviews just based on the weird ones that I've seen. Alright, now let's compare what we found with the Flybold slack lines to uh, Gibbon slack lines, which has 35 reviews, 4.6 out of 5 stars, so mostly 5 star reviews, a couple 4 stars, and maybe 1 or 2 1 stars. Uh, highly recommended slack line, great for beginners. This works much better than the one inch tubular webbing and cheap ratchet I, I was using. So something like that review stands out to me because it shows that this person actually kind of knows what they're talking about instead of just saying, wow, awesome product, great family fun. You know, they say better than one inch tubular webbing and cheap ratchet I was using just sort of shows me that they have been slacklining for a while and they were using something they didn't like and then they upgraded to this which is good to see um and then just to be fair we'll check out what the one star reviews say so here's one frayed out of the box paid extra for this line expecting it to last longer and be safer uh but out of the box the line was very much frayed on one end it does work as intended but i'm very disappointed and uh it kind of sucks to see that they didn't respond to this comment. Usually you'd expect them to respond to something like that, but this sort of seems like a one-off thing out of all the other reviews, so it is good to know that there's a possibility that it could arrive a little bit damaged, but it seems like that is uh, the exception to the rule. And there was one more, one star, let's see if I can find it. Okay, one star. Worst product ever. My eight-year-old fell and shattered her elbow on this at a friend's house. <laughs> Alright, um, sorry to hear that, Kevin Wilson, but, uh, and there's a lot of comments below this one saying, oh, first comment, LMAO, <laughs> I agree with that, uh, and a lot of people seem to just be, uh, roasting this guy for giving it one star when it uh, seems to be it was his child's fault or his parenting fault for her getting hurt and, and not really the product so uh, another good thing to know uh, you could possibly shatter your elbow if you buy this slack line uh, so keep that in mind the third and final criteria I'll be looking at is company legitimacy how much information can you find out about the company you're buying from what you should expect to see, and what you do see from Gibbon and Slackline Industries, is that when you Google the company name, you're able to find their website, and the website will have little about us section and contact information if you want to get in touch. So good job to Gibbon and Slackline Industries for that. Now Flybold on the other hand does not have a website, and we already saw earlier that they don't have an Instagram either. And I can't actually find anything out about this company, except for on Amazon it says uh, sold by DDRPL. And when you click on their hyperlink, you're taken to their storefront, which sells many different products. And uh, let's take a look at what they got. Flybold artificial boxwood panels, topiary LED fantasy lava lamps, twenty frame mahogany finish, professional wood shadow board, pattern wiggle stretch answer set. All right, you get the idea. Flybold sells dozens of unrelated products, all of which astonishingly have hundreds of five star reviews. So I think I'm ready to make my final review, in which I reward Flybold slacklines with a big fat 
two poop emojis and give Gibbon and Slackline Industries the coveted six out of six mallards. Great work, you two. So there are other great Slacklines to buy other than just Gibbon and Slackline Industries. Those are just the two that I chose to look at for this video since I do own one of each of those Slacklines and I am in no way sponsored by either of them, but uh, if anyone from those companies is watching, I am fully prepared to sell out for some cash. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something about online shopping today. If you did, drop a like or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you work for Flybold, be sure to dislike and report this video, and I hope to see y'all next time. Thanks.